Hello, I am Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CEH Certification Program by EC Council. Section Simple Network Management Protocol SNMP. SNMP is a protocol for collecting, organizing, and modifying information about managed devices. Managed devices, nodes, or routers, switches, servers, workstations, printers, etc. SNMP is widely used in network management for network monitoring. An agent software inside a managed device translates alerts, events as SNMP traps and send them to NMS, Network Monitoring Station or Network Management Station. SNMP exposes management data in the form of variables on the managed systems, organized in a management information system base. MIB, which describes system status and configuration. These variables can be remotely queried and managed by SNMP managing applications. SNMP is defined by IETF Internet Engineering Task Force. It consists of set of standards for network management, including an application layer protocol, a database schema, and set of data objects, that is MIB. SNMP operates in the application layer that is layer 7 of the OSI model. The SNMP agent receives request on UDP port 161. The manager sends request from any available source port to port 161 in the agent. The agent response will be sent back to the source port or the manager. The manager receives notifications that is traps or inform requests on port 162. The agent generates notifications from any available port. When used with uh, TLS or DTLS, that is Transport Layer Security and Data Ground Transport Layer Security, requests are received on port 10161 and traps are sent to port 10162. In SNMP communication, one or more administrative computers are called managers. They monitor and manage group of hosts or devices. Each managed system node has an agent which reports information via SNMP to the manager. SNMP managed network consists of three components. Managed device, agent and network management station NMS. A managed device is a network node that implements SNMP interface that allows unidirectional that is read only or bidirectional read and write access to node specific information. Managed device exchange node specific information with the NMS. The managed device can be any type of device including routers, servers, switches, IP telephones, hosts, printers, etc. An agent is a software on managed devices which report information via SNMP to the manager. A network management station, NMS, monitor and control the managed devices. Management information base, MIP, is a database of objects that can be managed on a device like router, switch, firewall, etc. The managed objects or variables can be set or read to provide information on the network devices or interfaces. MIB describes the structure of the management data of a device system containing object identifiers, OID and metadata. Each OID identifies a variable that can be read or set via SNMP. SNMP agents expose management data on the managed systems as variables. We have seven PDU types that is protocol data units in SNMP version 3 which is in use as of now. We have three SNMP versions and the latest one being SNMP version 3. SNMP version 3 security mechanisms such as USM or DSM prevent successful attacks. SNMP version 2C is incompatible with SNMP version 1. The strategies for interoperability are proxy agents such as SNMP version 2 agent 
which can act as a proxy agent on behalf of SNMP version 1 managed devices. And another one is NMS, Network Management Systems, which can understand both versions. In SNMP version 3, security is the main focus. This defines a security version of SNMP which facilitates remote configuration of the SNMP entities. The security aspect is addressed by offering both strong authentication and data encryption for privacy. SNMP provides important security features of CIA triad that is confidentiality, integrity and availability. SNMP Auto Discovery discovers new devices in the network automatically. SNMP version 1 and version 2 C present security risk as SNMP read communities are broadcast in clear text. SNMP v3 mitigates this risk somehow and anyway care should be taken when using automatic discovery feature. This is sample MIB OID how it looks like. SNMP check is an open source tool which automates the process of gathering information of any devices with SNMP protocol support. It can be used for penetration testing or system monitoring. This is SNMP check website. It supports these enumerations. And you can download a copy here. And Metsploit module is also available. And by default, it comes with Kali Linux. And uh, this is how a report sample looks like. You explore this. SNMP check is installed on Kali Linux by default. SNMP check allows you to enumerate the SNMP devices and places the output in a useful friendly format. This is SNMP check Kali tools web page. A Windows system can receive messages generated by SNMP agents and forward them to the SNMP management programs. SNMP trap service in Windows operating system. A Windows system can receive messages generated by SNMP agents and forward them to the SNMP management programs running on this system. This is Cisco MIB Tools link. Thanks for watching.